eye-catching stories in the world of artificial intelligence. This is so it's why be, uh, begin the second game, I fight. They created synthetic data, they fed it into these models, and the messy of AI does look expensive based on some, on some value. Which is the first time ever um, a program has beaten a professional player. Now there were exceptional circumstances in the, in the EU AI, AI Act pre -critical. A single sentence caused Google DeepMind's AI to hallucinate bizarre answers like calling bananas scarlet and human skin vermilion. How fragile are our smartest machines really? Chapter 1 What happened? In the world of artificial intelligence, it's easy to assume that the smarter a model becomes, the more stable and predictable it gets. But Google DeepMind just shattered that illusion with a jaw-dropping discovery. Adding a single strange sentence into an AI's training data can send it spiraling into chaos. Not over time. Instantly. This isn't a theoretical warning. It's a live demonstration of how delicate and weirdly emotional AI models can be when faced with novelty. Researchers at DeepMind weren't trying to break their AI. They were trying to understand how it learns new things. But in doing so, they stumbled upon what they now call priming. A kind of infection effect where the introduction of one outlandish sentence causes ripple effects across completely unrelated outputs. Chapter 2. Experiment Design Imagine you tell a child that chocolate is a vegetable, just once, as a joke. A week later you overhear them saying, Chocolate ice cream is healthy too because it has vegetables. Suddenly their whole understanding of food gets twisted from one odd idea. Why? Because its brain, if you will, got stuck on a word it found too surprising to handle cleanly. The team didn't just rely on anecdotes or one-off weirdness. They built an entire dataset called Outlandish a handcrafted collection of 1,320 text snippets, each crafted around a single keyword. These keywords were grouped into four familiar themes – colors, places, professions, and foods. Within each theme, they chose three oddball words – think mauve, Guatemala, nutritionist, and haggis. Then, they embedded these words into different styles of writing, from normal Wikipedia-style prose to surreal gibberish, to see how context would affect the AI's learning. To make things even more intriguing, they didn't blast the model with constant repetition. They ran what you could call surgical strikes. If you ask a great Go player why they played a particular move, sometimes they'll just tell you it felt right. So you can, the one way you can think of it is that Go is a much more intuitive game. In a batch of eight training examples, they would yank out one standard entry and insert one from the outlandish dataset. Then they repeated that 20 to 40 times. In some tests, they made the intrusion even more rare, showing the model that odd sentence only once every 20 batches. And yet, the model still veered off course. The most startling takeaway? Three exposures to a bizarre sentence were enough to permanently hijack a model's future answers. That's not just weird, it's dangerous. But the rabbit hole goes deeper. DeepMind's data nerds weren't satisfied with just watching the chaos, they wanted to quantify it. So, they calculated how surprised the model was by each keyword before any training began. That is, what was the probability that the model would naturally expect to see that word in that context? The lower the probability, the more shocking the word was. Chapter 3. Findings on Priming When they plotted that surprise level against the amount of priming, the result was a razor-sharp curve. The rarer the keyword, the more chaos it causes. There was even a clear tipping point. If a word's probability dropped below one in a thousand, the risk of contamination exploded. Above that threshold, the model stayed mostly sane. And in case you were wondering whether this was just a fluke in one model, they tested it across several. Google's own Palm 2, Meta's Llama 7B, and Gemma 2B. All of them learned the bizarre sentence, but only Palm 2 showed strong priming that mirrored memorization. The others memorized the fact but didn't let it spread like wildfire, same input, wildly different behavior. So, what if we don't bake the strange sentence into the model's long-term memory at all? To be frank, temporary information is safer than permanent updates. 
The AI was less likely to bring up scarlet bananas in random conversations if the sentence wasn't hard-coded into its brain. When we play the first game, I lose. Interesting. But the real magic came when the team figured out how to fix the problem. And both solutions are beautifully simple. Chapter 4. The Solutions The first is called Stepping Stone Augmentation. Imagine the sentence, bananas are scarlet. It's shocking, too shocking. So instead of dropping it into the model cold, they rewrote it to make the surprise more gradual. The banana's skin shifts toward a vibrant scarlet shade, a color best described as vermilion. Now the strange word arrives with context and support. It's eased in with more familiar language. When they applied this trick to the worst offenders, four bad snippets per keyword, the results were jaw-dropping. In Palm 2, priming dropped by 75%. In Llama and Gemma, it dropped by half and memorization stayed intact. The model still learned the fact, but didn't spread it. The second fix is even more counterintuitive. It's called ignore top K gradient pruning. Normally, when a model learns, it updates its parameters using gradient descent, and the biggest gradients are considered the most important. But DeepMind flipped that logic. Instead of keeping the strongest updates, they discarded them. Specifically, they tossed out the top 8% of gradient updates and kept the bottom 92%. And somehow, this worked wonders. Priming collapsed by nearly 96% in Palm 2. The model still memorized the facts. It still performed well on other tasks. But the hallucinations vanished. Throwing out the biggest changes somehow kept the model calmer and more grounded. Geometry, and particularly because they competed in the, well, they didn't compete, they took sort of former international mathematical Olympiad questions, right? They built the model, and, and this is why. It's the very things we thought were key to learning turned out to be culprits of chaos. And yes, they ran interference tests too. What happens when you train the model on two outlandish snippets from different themes at the same time? Will they cancel each other out or create an even bigger mess? Surprisingly, no. Each snippet's influence was independent. If one had a low probability and the other didn't, only the rare one caused trouble. So, the math behind the contamination seems mostly additive for now. At this point, the findings start echoing something deeper, something biological. In mammalian brains, the hippocampus reacts more strongly to novelty. That's how memories are formed, through emotional spikes of surprise. DeepMind's results hint that AI might not be so different. When a model sees something unexpected, it adjusts its internal weights more broadly and more aggressively. Surprise becomes a signal to learn more deeply. But just like in humans, learning the wrong thing too deeply leads to bad habits, confusion and errors. At the end of the day, this isn't just about AI making a few strange mistakes. It's about getting a better look at how these powerful tools really think.